Coburn Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 15. Women. Wisdom respects free will. Man's laws, situational. Violates God's gift. Arrogant ignorance. MPR 1538. Man has many chisels wherewith to fashion the form of his immortal soul, and among them none is so sharp as the hard chisel of desire. Therefore, beware, lest in the fullness of youth you fall prey to the allurements of the one woman who will cause you to degrade your manhood and cut shameful strokes by the excesses she offers for your delight. MPR 1539 she will entice you with a false sweetness, which disguises the bitter, soul-corroding drought. Her charms are delusions, which will blind your eyes and benumb your feelings. Drink at the tainted well if you must, but never after shall you be free of its taint, and never after shall you enjoy the pure waters of love in their refreshing fullness. Thing you should understand, once you've enjoyed sex without intimacy, you will find it far preferable to doing the work required for intimacy. Yet, intimacy will feed you far more than sex ever can. Sex, drugs, food, good or bad, is in how it is used. If all you seek is the easy path, then it will limit you. Yes, your body will know ecstasy, because together you will have experience in pleasing the body. However, if you find the right partner, if you are honest, risk the relationship. You will not need to have experience. You will experience all of it together your partner in life, and you will have something far deeper than anything yet seen in my generation. That takes work, however. It's up to you. Are you worth finding a partner for life? Or will you settle for a few seconds of pleasure for the body and so much time of sorrow and suffering of the soul waiting for the next fix? Your choice is yours, what you can live with in your heart and soul. And that is your moral code. If you find fulfillment, then you have not sinned. I will not judge, I just will not participate, because that is what I know I could not live with. Who is wrong? It doesn't matter. If you want to be assured on the day when we discover who was right, there will be no one to turn to and say, I told you so, because those with you will have done much the same as you. Worry about yourself. Do not judge others. You are not fit to do what only God can do.